Hello YouTube, Crazy Robot Lady here, and welcome to day six of Jill Free Will. Now, just in case you guys don't know what Jill Free Will is, and you're joining us for the first time, uh, normally when you play with Jill, you answer her questions, <laughs> and she changes what she says according to what you say. Just like in her theme song, I choose my words by what you say to me. But this series has been me just letting Jill choose her own way. Uh, today's adventure is Jill Goes to the Mall. And it's an awesome day to go to the mall. It's warm outside, but it's very windy, so Jill might complain about her hair being fluffed up. I don't really care. But this is one of my favorite tapes, so I don't think I will leave uh, as I usually do while this one is going because I like it. I don't play these tapes all the time. Uh, I only play them for videoing purposes. Uh, when I'm actually testing her, I use... Uh, my original Jill tapes. I run her at least once a week uh, just to keep everything loose and limber and all that. So without further ado, let's get going. No lady, you can't flash the world. Sorry, you're not old enough. I may have to help her a little bit because she just got her head cleaned, her tape hid, and sometimes right after a tape hid, everybody will drag a little bit. Don't you remember? Just 
Wait till you do. You'll love it. Oops, I almost forgot about the shopping list. Let's see. I put down party favors and decorations. What next? A new leotard. Boy, do I need one. My old one either shrunk or I grew. And my next dance lesson is in two days. So I have to buy one. Have you ever taken dance lessons before? Yes or no? This is very interesting. I didn't know she took dance. The recital at the end of the year is fun, isn't it? I really hope I get picked for a solo this year. I've been practicing and exercising every day, so maybe I will. Oh well, we'd better get back to the shopping list. I just have to get a new outfit for school, but I can't decide on the colors. Pastels are nice, like pink and violet and baby blue, but so are bright colors. Which colors do you like best, pastels or bright? hard to decide. Pastels are really pretty. Girls look great in them. While I'm looking at clothes, I might as well check out the accessories. Let's see. What should I put on the list? How about this? I'll write down everything else in the store. <laughs> oh, don't let me forget ice cream. You know me. I can't go to the mall without getting something to eat. Yum. Wait a minute. I don't need a list to remind me to get ice cream. I'd never forget that. Hey, we better get going. Do I have everything? Oh, Mom's credit card. She lets me use it, but she tells me how much I can spend. She knows I won't go totally nuts with it, but I'd better bring some money too. I mean, you can't charge ice cream on a credit card. Are you ready to go? Yes or no? It really is time to go. I can't wait to get there. Look out, Mom, cause here we come. Well, here we are. Wow, the mall is really crowded today. I guess everybody had the same idea we did. Where should we go first? I know, there are two new shops in the mall. One is called Dancer's Delight. It has everything for dancers. Leotards, shoes, books, whatever. The other store is called Hearts. It's really cute. They sell jewelry, party favors, stuffed animals, things like that. So where do you want to go? Dancers Delight or Hearts? It's a tough choice. I think Dancers Delight would be best. You'll love Dancer's Delight. It's really great, especially to a ballet nut like me. Did you ever want to be a ballerina? Yes or no? I bet you're a great dancer anyway. No. Here we are, Dancer's Delight. Oh, look at the windows. They've got dolls dressed up like ballet dancers. And see that poster? It's for the Sleeping Beauty Ballet. Ooh. I saw that for my birthday last year. Do you know the story of Sleeping Beauty? If you do, we can talk about it. If you don't, I'll tell it to you. Do you know the story? Yes or no? Not sure? Well, it's a wonderful story. Sleeping Beauty is one of my favorite fairy tales. The story is about a beautiful princess. Do you remember her name? I'll give you a hint. Her name means Dawn. What is it? I can't tell you. I want to so bad. You do remember. It's Aurora. <clears throat> when Aurora was born, the good fairies gave her gifts of beauty and grace. But a wicked fairy cast an evil spell on her. When she was 16, the wicked fairy tricked her into pricking her finger with a spindle. The princess fell into a magical sleep for 100 years. One day, a handsome prince arrived and woke her up with a kiss. So Sleeping Beauty woke up 100 years in the future. There are lots of stories about people going to another time. I love to think about what that would be like. How about you? 
If you had your choice, would you rather go 100 years into the future or 100 years into the past? Which would you choose, future or past? It's hard to imagine, but I bet it would be amazing. That's one reason I love the ballet. It lets you imagine all kinds of impossible things. And you know me, I have quite an imagination. Now don't laugh. Sometimes I imagine that I'm not really me. Like I pretend that things got mixed up at the hospital. And then I'm really a princess. And my royal family finds me. And I go and live in a castle. Of course, even when I'm living in a castle, you and I will still be best friends. Aww. Boy, will we have some great slumber parties. <laughs> oh, Sleeping Beauty is so wonderful. I could spend the whole day talking about it. But we've got some shopping to do. So let's go into Dancer's Delight. I need a new leotard. Do you think I should get pink or violet? My dad says, pink makes the boys wink. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Let's come back here and buy it after we look at some more shops. Then we won't have to carry it all over the mall. Wow, there's a really big crowd over there in front of the record store. Let's go see what's going on. Look, they have a stage set up. And there's a band playing. And oh my gosh, it's Social Street. My cousin Mike's rock group. Hey, it's a talent contest. Anybody can get up on stage and perform. Isn't that fantastic? Do you want to try it? Or maybe you'd rather take a break and do something quiet. Which will it be? The talent contest or quiet time? Too tired to even talk to me? All right, let's spend some quiet time together. I know the perfect place to sit. Come on. There's some benches here in front of this card shop. The last time I was here, I found two really cute cards. I'm going to use one of them to write a letter to my French pen pal, Genevieve. They were both so cute, I couldn't decide which one I liked better. So you know me, I bought them both. The first one has a picture of two adorable kittens wearing party dresses. Really cute. And the other one has the statue of Liberty holding a bunch of balloons. Which one should I send? The kitten or the statue of Liberty? The kitten card really is the cutest. I'll use that. How should I begin my letter? I know. Bonjour, Genevieve. Thank goodness I'm taking French in middle school. I know a few French words to use in my letter to Genevieve. In French, the word for hello or good day is bonjour. Then I think I'll tell Genevieve what happened in my French class last week. It was so funny and sort of embarrassing. You see, this new boy, Brian, just came into our class. Well, Brian had never taken French before, so he was really behind. Miss Dubois, our teacher, asked him to translate some French phrases into English. The first one was bonjour. Brian knew that meant hello. The next word was merci. He didn't know what that meant. So Miss Dubois asked Jennifer, a girl in our class, to tell what merci meant. And Jennifer said, thank you. Then, and here comes the embarrassing part, the next phrase Brian had to translate was, je t'aime. He didn't know what it meant. Miss Dubois looked at me and said, Jill, can you tell Brian what je t'aime means in English? I looked at Brian and said, I love you. That's what je t'aime means. Well, Brian looked at me and said, Merci. Thank you. The whole class laughed. I must have blushed the color of a tomato. And Miss Dubois was embarrassed too. But it was pretty funny. Anyway, I bet Genevieve will think so. I can't wait to see what she writes back. Hey, now that we've rested, I'm hungry. Why don't we take a trip to ice cream heaven? <sighs> Are you as hungry as I am? Yes or no? Well, you know me. I'm always hungry for ice cream. The waterfall is just ahead. Listen, 
you can hear it. And the food plaza is right next to the waterfall. Wow, look at all the different kinds of food up here. But I always pick ice cream. There's ice cream heaven. Oh, good. The line isn't too long. Come on. It's our turn to order. I'll have a peanut butter swirl, please. Now you tell them what you want. Same thing. Let's look around while we eat our cones. Hey, there's a clown. Do you want to stay and watch her? Or would you rather go over to the wishing pool? It's up to you. The clown or the wishing pool. Let's stay here and watch. Doesn't that clown look funny? Her face is covered with white makeup. And she's wearing a striped top and black pants. Watch. She's got both arms straight out at the sides, and she's twirling on one toe. What do you think she's trying to be? A ballerina or a top? <laughs> I think she's a ballerina and a top. Oh, the clown is moving away. We can't see her anymore. Wait, I have an idea. You pretend you're a clown. I'll tell you what to act out. But you can't use any words, just movement. Ready? First, be a cat. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. What a nice little cat you are. Okay, for the next one, act six. That's great. I'm ready to call a doctor. <laughs> next, get ready for this one. Act like you're falling asleep. so cute. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't it be neat to work at a pet store? Then you could pet the animals all day long. Oh look, it's almost four. We better hurry over to the record store. They're about to announce the winner of the talent contest. I can't wait to find out who won. Here we are, just well, we in didn't time. Perform. The announcer is mm. coming up to the microphone. She's going to announce the winner. Oh my gosh, Mike's band won. Look how excited they are. Yay. Hey, they're going to play again. And Mike wants both of us to sing on stage with them. Oh, no. Come on, we know the words. Together, together, we can make it happen. We can make it. We can make it happen. Wow, what a fantastic day. Thanks for coming to the mall with me. Now I've got to rest for a few minutes while my tape rewinds. And then if you like, we can go to the mall again. Bye for now. All right, guys. That was so much fun. I love this tape. I hope I didn't mess it up when I, when I said puppies. But I think she always chooses the hamsters, regardless of what you say in that instance. Uh, Cricket and Corky's Clubhouse would know if she has a puppy track, but... As far as I know, she doesn't have a puppy track, even though she offers you the choice. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh man, 
I love this tape. And it played so well. Oh my goodness. Uh. Anyway, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you're wondering about Cricket's outfit, she is ready to go on another adventure. But if you want to find out what it is, you have to listen to episode 18 of Let's Get to Know 1986 Playmates Cricket. And you will find out where this mysterious place is. Anyway, as usual, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. God bless, and I will see you in the next video.